Hello and welcome to Politics NY with Sky Behind the Curtain, where we speak with industry insiders about what's going on in city and state politics. And right now we have a special show because we have two guests at once. I'm here with Celeste Katz Martson, who is a reporter who's been in the industry for quite some time, along with Jeff Simmons, who is from Annette Gerstein PR firm. And he and Celeste have a show together on WBAI called Driving Forces. So Welcome to the show, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah. So why don't you tell us about your show first? How long has it been going on? And, and what are you guys talking about on your show? Since I have a show and you have a show. So tell us about your show. Celeste describes it much better than me. Celeste? Oh, God. Well, <laughs> our show is called Driving Forces. And we are on WBAI New York. 99.5 FM and streaming live at WBAI.org. And uh, basically it's a show about politics, policy, influencers, decision makers. And then we always try to have a call section so we can actually hear from real listeners, real New Yorkers about what they care about. And obviously this all keeps us very busy considering how many scandals and disruptions and sort of momentous uh, uh, moments we've all been living through. And the last few weeks, we, Sky, focused a lot on the fallout of the AG's report and the governor's resignation and Kathy Hochul then becoming the new governor. Mm -hmm. And the, everything ties together through politics. It's it's really cool and interesting. It's a great time to work in this industry. And, and I know, Jeff, you have clients on the side, PR clients from Annette Gerstein that I'm sure you counsel them accordingly, depending on what's going on in politics. Yeah, and not Gerstein, we only represent nonprofits. So, of course, uh, the nonprofits we work with may take a position on policies, but they're not going to say the governor should resign, for instance. They will talk about maybe sexual harassment, but they won't say the governor needs to leave because of his alleged actions. Mm -hmm. And Celeste, you've been reporting on politics and, and government for a long time. Um, so I'm sure you have your two cents on all these topics as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a busy time. And one of the nice things about uh, the program, aside from getting to work with Jeff, who I love, is, um, you know, we really have a chance to look at everything through sort of a political lens. And that could be anything. That could be the response to the COVID-19 pandemic. That could be, you know, what happens to the leadership of New York State with all this turmoil and Andrew Cuomo going out, Kathy Hochul going in. It could be, we've had programs on voting rights. We've had programs on education. We've had programs on, you know, transportation. We've had programs on, on women's issues and all these things, but there's always a way to find a political core, whether it's people advancing legislation or people protesting or, you know, people coming up with actual solutions, you know, uh, community groups, um, uh, think tanks and so on. So there's always a way to bring everything back to politics. And Sky, I want to uh, add on to something uh, because Celeste said a nice thing about me. I want to tell you, though, how Celeste and I really bonded. I'd known Celeste already, but I was working on Governor, well, excuse me, Lieutenant Governor David Patterson's campaign to become Lieutenant Governor. And Celeste was with us following the campaign. And one of my favorite moments was when David was driving, we were driving out on a bus to the school that he had attended on Long Island. And Celeste sat with him and chatted the entire way out there. And the Spitzer folks were like, come on, you got to end the interview. But David loved to talk and Celeste loved to ask questions. And it was one of my favorite moments ever. They had such a good time on that bus together. See, I always love pointing to examples when politicians are actual people. And that's a great example of that. Someone who can just be candid and have a conversation on a bus and not be guarded or not have to have five people listening in on it as well, who could just be off the cuff. I just had David Patterson on my show and he even shared that he like learned how to play the guitar during COVID being home. He said it's something that he hadn't done in a while, but even sharing something like that, I love, I love that about certain elected officials. Yeah, yeah and that's that's something we have a really good chance to do on the program is, you know, get people to open up a little bit. It's not like a, you know, 30 second soundbite or 15 second soundbite. And it's not running up to somebody in a scrum and sticking a recorder in their face or a microphone in their face. And, you know, I certainly had to do that as a reporter with the Daily News for 15 and a half years. And Jeff did it when he was a reporter with the News and the Post. And then um, I think when I met you, Jeff, you were a reporter for New York One. So mm -hmm. certainly like that sort of split second reaction 
interaction. You know, with the radio program, we do get to go a little bit longer. And I think people do get some insight in who politicians are rather than just what they do or what they're in trouble for. Yeah, and I just want to add, you know, one thing that Celeste has done with WBAI during the pandemic, and it involved several elected officials as well, but also everyday New Yorkers, which she did a series of coronavirus diary uh, segments where she interviewed people, but she took her voice out of the majority of that, except for the, you know, intro and outro and let them speak. And uh, two of them were Nydia Velasquez and Scott Stringer. And Scott talked with Celeste about the passing of his mother and how that impacted him because he could not go to the service, if I'm correct, uh, Celeste. Yeah, they weren't, they were not able to have a service because of, because of COVID. And uh, yeah, we talked to uh, council member Danny Drum also, who lost, I think, five close friends in the course of something like a week or less than a week. So again, you know, talking about a really big issue through the lens of politics, but also giving people a chance to sort of share these personal experiences has been a, a really important part of what we do. Yeah, it's a wonderful side of the issue. And I think that government and politics, what we're seeing now, there's a lot of women that just came into the city council who are coming in next year. We have a woman governor. We're seeing it's it's becoming a little personal. And I, I think that it's a nice touch what we're seeing. It makes you feel like everyone's involved. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, and the, the program was Jeff's idea. He asked me to come in and, you know, sort of hop in and uh, co-host with him, which was great. Um, radio is something that I, you know, branched out into from uh, being a print reporter and doing that, producing longer radio programs. I co-hosted a podcast with The Economist during the 2016 uh, presidential election. That was pretty exciting. Got some great guests on there, too. So really do have to thank Jeff for giving me the opportunity to, to sort of, you know, spread my wings a little bit in radio because I, I do really love it. Thank you. And I, I do have to say Celeste was my one and only choice for this because she can push back on me. She could make me crack up. She could also say to me, what are you talking about? You know, usually after the show, like, what was that about? But I have to say it is it's been such a wonderful experience. And even amid COVID when, Sky, we have to do the show remotely from the engineer, we have set up a whole system. We're on FaceTime on another device so we could look at each other so we don't step on each other while we're speaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all these adaptations in the media industry, in politics, in government, in the nonprofit space, it's all tied together through politics and now adapting with even doing this on Zoom, working remotely. <laughs> So, so thank you both for being here, part of the show um, on Politics NY with Sky, Behind the Curtain, and we'll see you soon.